Hi, everybody. Um, we are sitting here with Dwayce. Say hi to Dwayce. Having a very nice evening. Um, come here, baby girl. She is having a hard time sharing her sharing her status as the alpha, the number one pet. So, you know, I'm trying to give her a little bit, you know, more love and attention because she mommy loves you. I love you. Yes, I do love you. She's a good girl. Um, but, okay. Expose the Watchtower Cult. This is for you, buddy. You suggested it. You said you wanted to hear more stories about scammers. So, I'm going to give you the skinny on military scams. Okay. This was my first scam. Um, it was a guy who said he was in the army at uh, Fort Hood, I think. He was in Texas. And he was a good looking guy. And I think he, he used the name Jason. Okay. And we just talked for maybe... I don't know, a half hour on one day, and then the second day we, you know, was messaging back and forth, you know, in between me doing stuff for like 45 minutes. I mean, I'm not one of these people that's just going to hang on the phone and message and message and message. You know what? I got things to do. I have life. I am not addicted to messaging and, you know, ooh, ooh, I got a message. You know, they can wait. But anyway, this guy, he was gorgeous. <gasps> Gorgeous beyond belief. Okay, one thing you've got to ask yourself. Why would a gorgeous 30-something bodybuilder in the military want something to do with a 50-year-old woman? Come on, give me a break. You have, you know, ladies, you have to be realistic. And guys, too, you know, they will steal pictures. Women will steal pictures of porno site, from porno sites. And, um, you know, you got to stop and think. You're a 60-year-old man or you're 50 or whatever. What makes you think that a beautiful, model-looking 21-year-old girl with, you know, just up to here, you know, I mean... It looks like she, she she should be on the cover of Cosmopolitan. Why do you think that they would want something to do with us? I mean, you really, I know people are lonely and stuff, but you really got to, you know, use your mind. Um, this guy, you know, first of all, people in the military, a lot of guys in the military are very vain, Okay, and they're not online looking for love, especially if they, you know, they are so gorgeous that they make Sam Elliott and Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt and Thelma and Louise, that is, make him look like a dog. Okay, why would somebody like that have to be on social media? Well, anyway, this guy is sending me messages and I'm just, you know, keeping it casual you know, talking about Wilbur and, you know, things I like to do. And he's like, oh, sweetheart, we're soulmates. And, you know, I believe that we're meant to be together. And I'm like, okay, you've only known me. You know, you don't even know me. You know, I'm a stranger you're talking to for basically, you know, 80 minutes on online. And we haven't video chatted or anything, but I'm your soulmate. And, um... You can't live your life without me? He told me he couldn't live his life without me. Well, on the third chat, that's where, you know, that's where he laid it down. He said, okay, he was widowed, of course, and his he had a young eight-year-old son staying in New York State with his elderly mother. Well, he told me, he said, Honey, I can't get any money. I can't get off the base, and I have no access to my money. And my son is starving. My my elderly mother doesn't have any money to feed him. Oh, please, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need you to help me. And I'm like, okay, you can't get off the base, and you have no access to your money. You know, I may drop dead tomorrow, but I sure as heck was not born yesterday. I know I always say that. I need new material, but... Anyway, 
he was just, you know, it was so obvious because if, if somebody is in the military, remember this, their families are taken care of, you know, their dependents, they get more pay with every dependent that they have. Their children have medical care. You don't need to talk to some soldier and, you know, he's in Afghanistan and his kid is staying with a nanny or something and he's a widower and he has to pay for an operation because he found out that this little boy has bone cancer and needs emergency surgery and they will not operate unless he pays money. You know, hospitals don't work that way. An emergency situation, they're going to operate on you and bill you because they did the Hippocratic Oath. You know, they have to save life. Um, and anyway, the military has, I don't know what kind of insurance it is, but it is 100% medical, dental, everything for their, their spouse, any dependent that they have. Okay, so don't fall for it. But anyway, this guy, who I found out by watching some of these other scamming things, I found out that the photo was stolen, oh, excuse me, it was stolen from a guy named John Burke. I have seen John Burke, where it says, you know, stolen photos. I know that guy from anywhere. That was Jason, because he had the most incredible, incredible blue eyes. He was just gorgeous. And that was him, you know, that it was a stolen picture. But anyway, Jason was like, finally, he was like, well, I told him, you, I don't have any money. And I didn't. I mean, I had like $32 to live on for the last, uh, I think it was like the last two weeks of the month. You know, I'm not going to send some stranger my last little bit of money. I mean, I'm not completely stupid. But, um... I said, I can't help you. I'm sorry. And he said, well, you can help me if you want. And I said, you know what? You're exactly right. Lose my number. And I yeah, blocked him. And on Facebook, I blocked him so he couldn't look me up on Facebook. Uh, that's how you handle these guys. As soon as they, you know, the money issue comes up, real decent ethical men do not hit up first of all you don't hit up women for money anyway i always have a strict rule don't I, I don't lend money to boyfriends that is just you know that ruins the relationship at least it does for me and i don't ask for money from my boyfriends either i wouldn't i take care of myself everything i've got in this home Hooligan took care of it. Hooligan bought this. I didn't have to have some stupid guy do it for me. And men shouldn't do it with women. But a real person is not, is not going to hit up a stranger in 10 minutes or an hour's time and ask them to send you money. That just real people don't do that. That is a scammer. So I just, I wanted to share that with you guys and tell you to remember, you know, think logically. If a man in the military, I even heard a story of a military guy supposedly in Afghanistan asked a woman to send him money because they were out of ammunition and the army wasn't feeding them and they were all hungry. Could you send us a hundred dollars so we could buy food? Okay. They're out in the freaking desert. Okay. Is there going to be a hater hardware or play a guns and ammo store around the corner in the desert where they could go buy ammunition? The military doesn't supply ammunition or, you know, are you stupid? I mean, that you would even think somebody would be dumb enough to believe that? You know, the, these guys are so stupid and the excuses they use are so ludicrous. You know, I mean, a five-year-old child could, could see passes if they think a minute, okay? And the Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, Air Force, they feed their people very good. Plus, they have, even in the desert, they have canteen where they can go. They have access to their money all the time. They can go get snacks and stuff, but the military clothes them, feeds them three meals a day, three hots and a cot, 
and gives them a nice paycheck and medical insurance. So just remember that, guys. And if you have any thoughts on you know, something else you'd like to hear, uh, let me know. Be sure, I found out from uh, Winston on um Watchtower examination, the more you hit the like button, the more um, they will recommend my videos to other non-subscribers. So if you like this, hit the like button. I hope I don't get no dislikes, but if I do, you know, it is what it is. But um, you all have a good evening. Expose the Watchtower cult. Thanks for the idea. Love you, buddy. You're a good dude. Talk to you all soon. Bye.